the U.S. rail system has seen better days. In the early 1900s, railroads were instrumental in facilitating coast-to-coast -coast movement, providing new economic opportunities and building communities across the nation. Flash forward to 2024, when a large majority of Americans prefer driving everywhere. As a result, investment in road infrastructure has grown, but the country lags behind in building modern passenger trains, electric trains, and high-speed lines. However, in the last few months, the arrival of one mega project has signaled a shift and shown potential to revive the glory days of the great American railways. This is a game changer. The, 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 the mom and dad who want to get home and have dinner with their kids or help them out on their math homework. Um, I think we need to think of this not just in the wow, big number reality, what it will do for this region, for both of our great states, but also the lives that will be transformed. It's a project that has been compared in scale to the Golden Gate Bridge and the Hoover Dam. In the next decade, it's expected to become an integral part of the American landscape. Here's what you should know about the multi-billion dollar Hudson Tunnel Project. The Hudson Tunnel Project was conceived in 2010 as a plan to build two new rail tracks between New York and New Jersey. But as with most mega projects, it immediately fell into a loop of cancellations, revivals, and delays. The uncertainty continued until 2021, when the project received much awaited environmental approval. That year, teams were assembled to design the new two-track railway tunnel to connect New York and New Jersey under the Hudson River. By then, it was already clear that this new tunnel wouldn't just improve passenger services between Bergen County Palisades and Manhattan, but also strengthen the Northeast Rail Corridor, which runs from Washington, D.C. to Boston. But it was only in 2024 that the project officially took off. In July, the project received record-breaking federal funding as a part of the Biden-Harris administration's $66 billion investments into overhauling passenger rail. But wait, why did they agree to spend big on creating new tunnels anyway? Well, mainly because the existing rail lines are under immense pressure. The two existing tracks facilitate the movement of 450 Amtrak and New Jersey Transit trains and 200,000 passengers every single day, in a region that contributes up to 20% of the national GDP. A single bottleneck or a disruption in services can be devastating. To make matters worse, the North River Tunnel, which carries this immense weight on its shoulders, was built in 1910, 114 years ago. Back then, the Pennsylvania Railroad's lines may have been considered state-of-the-art. But over the years, the one-track-in, one-track-out model has caused several headaches, with design flaws and age-related issues taking their toll. Even as the cracks began to show, Superstorm Sandy hit in 2012, and the writing officially appeared on the wall. The two-track tubes were flooded with millions of gallons of salt water which corroded their lining and further reduced reliability. In 2014, Amtrak, which had invested hundreds of millions of dollars into ensuring the tunnel stayed safe, warned that the tracks would have to be closed by 2034 to address serious concerns. At the same time, officials did the math and came to the conclusion that closing a single track for a year would result in 75% fewer trains on this route, which would be devastating for the economy. So, the Hudson Tunnel Project, now overseen by the Gateway Development Commission, emerged as the perfect solution. The plan for the newly dubbed Gateway Project was simple. Build two new tracks about half a mile from the old tracks ASAP, so service isn't disrupted. Then, once the new tunnel is complete, renovate the North River Tunnel to increase capacity further. The first component of this plan is building the new two-track rail tunnel between Bergen County and Manhattan. It's a project of immense scale that involves digging and constructing through heavily congested areas. But long before that begins, workers have to first work on stabilizing and preparing the Hudson's riverbed, an extremely time-consuming process. As you'd imagine, it's going to take over a decade for this phase to be done with a tentative completion date set for 2035. The second component involves renovating the two existing tracks. 
This project can only start once the new tunnel is ready. It will involve authorities modernizing the old tunnel's design, improving reliability, and preventing another Sandy-like freak situation. The third component involves building a concrete casing under Hudson Yards in New York. This will connect the new Hudson Tunnel to Manhattan's Penn Station. The estimated date to complete all these components is 2038. As you've probably guessed, projects of this scale are not cheap. Over the years, the Hudson Tunnel has managed to earn an unprecedented $11 billion in federal funding. Approximately $6.9 billion of this came courtesy of the largest ever Federal Transit Administration grant, while $4.1 billion came courtesy of favorable loans from the Department of Transportation's Build America Bureau. This, however, makes up only 70% of the costs. The states of New Jersey and New York have agreed to contribute another $5 billion. Effectively, the total cost today stands at $16.1 billion, making it one of the most expensive infrastructure projects in the country. Once the project is ready, however, authorities expect to make this up in no time. Even though construction has barely begun, a report from the Regional Plan Association estimates that the project will create 95,000 jobs and generate $19.6 billion in revenue. Moreover, these new rail tubes are expected to be even more efficient, reliable, and safe to use, considering they weren't built in the early 20th century, but with highly modern tools and advanced techniques. This, in turn, will go a long way in easing the daily commute of a staggering 200,000 people, and could last for another century at least. There have also been reports that suggest that the increased connectivity will increase property values across New Jersey, which is great news for homeowners. Moreover, by easing the commute to Manhattan, the project allows for more New Jerseyans to enter the New York market, helping both states grow and thrive. It's no wonder that the Hudson Tunnel has become such an attention-grabbing project, and one that has seen almost no backlash. In fact, according to Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, the Hudson Tunnel may just be the most significant infrastructure project in U.S. history. As one of the cathedrals of American infrastructure, this project can demonstrate America's capacity to build things together in the 21st century, comparing it to other economic infrastructure projects in the U.S. At this point, it's clear that the hype around the Hudson Tunnel is real. Whether it will live up to this promise remains to be seen.